So in the upper left hand corner you have the quick access toolbar and it's called that because you can quickly access any command on it in a single click. As opposed to, well, if you have to go to another tab to access the command, that's one too many clicks. I have to click on it and then find the command and click on it there. Instead I can just stay on the home tab and be able to add that command that's found on the formulas tab up here on the quick access toolbar. Which brings up a good point, how do you add commands to the quick access toolbar? You can do it one of many ways. One way is to click on its corresponding drop down arrow and you get a list of some of the more common commands that are used like create a new workbook, open up a workbook, go ahead and select open, adds the open command. When you click on it, it opens up a window to open up a workbook. Cool. Let's go ahead and close out. And then click on the arrow again and if you want to be able to see more commands, well there you go, go ahead and click on more opens up the Excel options which you can also access by going backstage from file down to options opens up this window you just need to select the quick access toolbar which is already highlighted because we accessed it from the quick access toolbar drop down menu there and so you can see we've got popular commands and then over to the right hand side anything that's listed there is going to be on the quick access toolbar and so when you look through the popular commands there's not too many if you're like well I'd like some other command is it available if you want to see a list of all the commands that are available, then click on the drop down arrow and go to all commands. There you go. It's sorted well numerically here, and then it goes alphabetically. So go ahead and scroll to the command that you'd like to add. Like maybe a quick print. That way, instead of clicking on print and going backstage to the print preview in the print window, you can just bypass that and it'll go right to your printer. Although you've got to be pretty confident to do that, that you got everything laid out correctly because you don't get that preview to double check before you actually print it off. In any case, to go ahead and add it over to the quick access toolbar, this window here, which will add it up there, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either select it, come over here, click on add, and if you made a mistake with it highlighted, you can click remove. You can also, let me select it here, double click, and it adds it over to the right hand side as well. And so let's go ahead and add a few more commands here. I'm just going to randomly just double click and add a few and show you another command that you can add. It's called the separator and it's all the way up at the top. When we first came here, it's also under popular commands. And what that does, wherever you add the separator, it'll put a line in between those commands. So if I double click, double click, double click, I have three separators. So the way this is going to lay out on the quick access toolbar, from top to bottom, it's going to be laid out over here from left to right. So save is going to be first. And if you don't want save to be first, select it and go ahead and push the down arrow. Now undo is going to be first. And then if you'd like to be able to, to give yourself some more space in between the commands because you come up here and you just quickly click on a command and well they're not too close but if you want some more space you can use the separators or you can also use the separator be able to group your commands kind of like what you see here. Those are separators separating the font group from the clipboard and also from the alignment group these lines here. So let's go ahead and move these separators around and go up, 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 up. Oh, I'm going to move the save up. And let's just separate that from the undo. And then the separator here, up, up, up. Um, undo, redo are together separated from the others by the separators. And well, we'll do one more here from the three here to the last two. And then click OK and let's take a gander. Hey, there you go. So we've got our separators just like we have down below on the ribbon separates it gives us a little bit more space and you can add as many separators as you want together so if you want several more lines to be able to you know distance from one command to the next go for it and so I've got you could say one group here two three four groups three separators now another way to add a command or commands to the quick access toolbar is that if you're on a tab and you like a command like B for bold go ahead and right click on it and say you want to add that to the quick access toolbar left click and there it is, it's right there. So you don't have to be on the home tab if you're typically on like the data tab. You don't have to go, oh, I gotta go ahead and do the B for bold thing. Let me come up here, click on the home tab, and then click on B. And just come up here and click on B right there. You can also add groups of commands to the quick access toolbar. Like if you wanna be able to add the entire font group, right click in a blank area, and then add that to the quick access toolbar. Now it needs an icon to represent that group, and so it shows the letter A. So don't think, well, when I hover over it, that it's the font color. Because when you click on this, you get color, right? But when you come up here and you click on the one that represents the group, you're not going to get font color. You're going to get the entire group. Cool. And then you can go ahead and choose your font color from there. 
Okay, it's looking like a mess, right? So do you want to go ahead and clean this up? Well, let's do it. You can right click and remove those commands and remove all of them as quickly as possible, including the lines and they're just disappearing and they're going, going, almost done and gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.